my name's Annette, and you may know me as Natter's Plays, and today on Applied Mechanics, I'm going to go over the game of Azul Stained Glass. This is the sequel to its predecessor of Azul, which is a family-based game where you're picking up a bunch of items and you're placing them on certain locations. In this case, you're making a grandiose palace out of stained glass. So let me show you a little bit about this game and why I really like it. On a player's turn, you can take one of two actions. The first action would be to take any of the window panes from a certain factory, just like the base game of Azul. You take all the window panes of one type, and whatever's left over goes into the center. The other option would be to take the window panes of the same color, along with the first player marker if you're the first person to do so. Whenever you take the first player marker, you're also going to break glass, which will score you negative points at the end of the game. You can place the window panes based on where your glacier is located, either on that strip or anywhere to the right of it. When you complete a full strip, then you'll be able to score points. First you see if you get any color bonus points by matching the colors on that strip with the round color that you're in. You grab one of the window panes from the strip that you just completed and you place it into the palace window. You'll score the points below it along with any other windows to the right of it that you've also completed. The rest of the window panes will be collected in the glass tower. The first time you complete a strip, you'll be able to flip it over. Or if you complete it a second time, then the strip will be removed. If you didn't collect any window panes and place them, then your other option on your turn could be just to reset by placing your glacier to the left. The way that you pick up those window panes is exactly like its predecessor of Azul. The only difference is how you lay down those tiles. You place them on these different strips, and they're all randomized. What I do like about this game is that you're not stuck having to pick tiles from a certain factory. You can forgo that by just moving your glacier back. There's a lot of variability with this game, and it makes Azul brand new. And that's why I like Azul Stained Glass. Well, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!